Hello Jazzicals, I hope you're all well. Um, today, after our first ever episode uh, map drawing, we are making the, what I would say is an obvious next progression uh, onto drawing a pig. Uh, this is in fact gonna be uh, the first in three pigs that we're gonna learn to draw. Um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so today we are gonna need a couple of different things. We're gonna need a pencil, a rubber, a ruler, and a pencil sharpener. Now, again, we don't need the rubber because we're gonna make mistakes. We need the rubber because we need it for our drawing. We're gonna draw a couple of shapes on our page. We're gonna draw them very gently, first of all, and it will make sense at the end. So the first thing we're gonna do is about halfway up the page, maybe a little less than halfway, we're gonna draw a straight line with the ruler. We're gonna do it really gently with a slightly blunt pencil. Now the reason we're doing it with a blunter pencil is because it helps us not have too solid a line because we're gonna rub this line out later. Okay, and it's gonna be, I've got a shorter ruler, which means it's 15 centimeters long. Okay, um, and that's uh, as long as it needs to be. Okay, then I'm gonna take my ruler and eight centimeters, so I'm gonna put my ruler on eight and then go all the way to zero and just do a little dot here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another one um, over here, but at six centers, right at the, uh, sorry, centimeters, right at the end, okay? Then I'm gonna draw a circle here, okay? I'm gonna draw that circle all the way up to my eight centimeter dot and back round it down. I'm gonna do one the same, but to my six centimeter dot and back round it down. Um, maybe a bit more round. And there, okay, it doesn't have to be perfect because these lines aren't gonna stay. And then in between the two, we're gonna do another one that's gonna be eight centimeters tall. Okay, again, it doesn't need to be perfect, okay? It just needs to be roughly round and nice and gentle so that we can rub it out later, okay? Then the last thing we're gonna do, uh, last circle we're gonna do is just one up here. Just a little one. I'm sure you can guess that that will be his tail. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw the lines that go across each circle right in the middle so that you've got a sort of almost a target or a crosshair as it would be called um, in the middle because that's gonna help us draw our shapes. Perfect, first job done, easy. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna follow our line um, all the way around kind of the edge and it's gonna give us the first basic shape uh, of our pig. Now we're gonna, not all the way, sorry, but we're gonna follow our line around the edge. So we're gonna start possibly um, just a little bit over to the left of here, okay? And we're just gonna follow it, actually drawing the line that's gonna be our picture, okay? And that's gonna go all the way around to the top. But when I get to the top, I'm not gonna follow this. I'm gonna kind of almost jump, okay? I'm gonna jump over to the next one. Okay, now it's not gonna be a straight line, okay? Because again, if it's straight, there's no such thing as a, um, a straight bit on a pig. Okay, they're always a bit curvy, a bit lumpy, a bit bumpy. So even the fact that it doesn't even have to be a particularly well-defined line, that's absolutely fine because again, they, you know, they're kind of wrinkly sorts of creatures. Okay, um, then we're gonna, so we've got all of our body here. Okay, we're gonna leave a little bit of space for our ears and we'll come back to that. Leave a gap and then we're gonna follow our line all the way back down to pretty much where we get our cross here. Okay, um, we'll leave that space for the ears for now. We're gonna draw our snout. Okay, so that snout is gonna come all the way out and down from our pointy bit here. Okay, um, we're gonna go from there. We're gonna jump up, we're gonna go a little bit underneath. We're gonna jump up, round and down. Um, doesn't have to be too much of a straight line again and a little bit here. Now to draw our snout here, uh, we're gonna do a little bit in the middle, a couple of little extra lines to just show a little bit of 3D shaping. And then we're gonna do a number six, kind of almost in the middle. And we're gonna fill in that, the middle of that six. That gives us that nice snouty bit. Now, let's go back to our crossing line. We're just gonna do our eye for our pig before we carry on with this snout. Um, all we're gonna do for his eye is almost at the front, really clearly at the front, we're gonna do kind of uh, the top half of a C shape. And that's just gonna come over the top there. Okay, um, then we're gonna kind of draw almost like a, 
like a like an like a kind of eye. This is just going to be a sort of simple eye sort of shape. Just fill in a little bit of black there, um, almost like an almond sort of shape. And then we need another line that's going to follow it up there. And then we're going to do a couple of little extra lines just to show kind of some detailing around the eye. Just gives him some the idea that he's got some kind of wrinkles and things. Um, that's his eye. That's it done. Easy. Well, by the time we sort of get to the end, you'll see how that sort of fits in. Okay, um, and then we're going to follow his snout um, all the way around um, and down here. Okay, and it's just going to come down. Um, it's going to take a kind of scraggly line and it's going to finish pretty much where this bit meets here. Okay, um, and I'm actually going to then take it a little bit further around that line because that's kind of his head bit there. Okay. Uh, we're going to add in his mouth, but I'm going to add in a tiny little line here. So um, just kind of roughly here, add in a little bit, a couple of lines. They just sort of show wrinkles and things. Um, again, it doesn't need to be a perfectly straight line. Um, and then we're going to do his mouth. Now, where we came down from his snout, we're going to go swoop back up and then kind of do another jaggedy kind of line there. You can see a mouth start to form. Um, beautiful. I think we'll take a pause there. Um, and we'll come back and do his ears. Okay, so I'm pretty pleased with that so far. Um, we're gonna carry on, we're gonna do his ears. So, um, from almost the middle of this sort of section of his, ear, uh, of his head there, um, my line is gonna come up and it's gonna sort of swirl around and then it's gonna come waving back down. So I'm gonna, they're not gonna meet when they get back to this bit here. So I'm gonna come up here and kind of do a little bit. I'm gonna head just over the top and then I'm gonna wave all the way back down and in, okay? Now where you can see this line here, we can join that up, okay? We can join that up to where that ear is. Then we're gonna take another line here and it's gonna start about here and it's gonna follow, so it's gonna be about the middle of these two lines here. It's gonna follow this one up and it's gonna end just up in this corner. So we're gonna go from here, swoop up there, okay? And then from here, we're gonna do another one and it's gonna come around, but it's not gonna fi actually finally meet that one. It's just gonna come up to about there and it'll finish. Okay, perfect. Uh, the second ear basically does the same thing, really. Okay, um, the second ear basically does the same thing. Um, it's gonna come from here um, and it's gonna go back to where these, this line meets, but we're not gonna have to worry about the detail in the middle. Okay, so we're gonna come out from here, I'm just gonna go up, add a little bump, and then we're gonna wiggle back down just into there. And it kind of gives the effect of it being the other ear. Um, so we don't need to worry about the inner bit. Um, and that's his head basically done. We're almost sort of, I'd say we're more than halfway there. Good job guys, well done. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to doing some of our more gentle lines, okay? So we're going to start at this point here, and all we're going to do is we're just going to draw an almost straight line down very gently again, because this line will eventually be rubbed out, okay? And it's just going to come down not too far. This is going to be kind of roughly where the leg goes, and that's going to be something that's going to show us where that leg goes. And then I'm going to say about halfway between here and here, we're going to do another one. Okay, but this one's gonna come a bit back and then it's gonna bend just near the top and kind of come down to the floor. Okay, again, we wanna make sure that this is nice and light and gentle, okay? Um, then we're gonna go from the point here, so where, where our se second circle, the crosshair meets the bottom of it, and we're gonna go, again, we're gonna go backwards a little bit and then when we get near the bottom, we're just gonna take a little hook to the right. Okay, and then we're gonna go about halfway along between where we've got drawing here and here, um, and that's gonna be our front leg. So we're gonna to go to about here um, where we're gonna start our front leg, and that's just gonna go at a nice angle forward. Okay, again, it looks like a very skinny leg, like a spider pig, um, but when we filled them all out, he'll be, he'll look great. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a line to kind of fill out his neck Okay, um, and it's gonna come from where we started drawing here, almost the bottom of this crosshair, um, to the halfway point between this square circle and this circle where that would meet our original line. Okay, and it's gonna come down just underneath it. Okay, so we're gonna go just under from here 
and back up a little bit just underneath to meet it there because um, that's where the muscles of our leg of our pig are going to go um, and that will help us draw our leg here. So we're going to start by coming back up into the body to kind of give him a bit of shoulder. There you go. One, two. <clears throat> okay, so we've done the front of his shoulder. We're going to do the back of it now. So basically just between, just a little bit to the right of where this uh, cross goes in, all we're going to do is we're going to come up and we're going to do kind of the same, a bit higher up, just into here. Okay, it kind of just gives the impression of having that lovely back build shoulder that a pig has. Um, we're not going to worry about the hooves now. We're going to come onto the hooves and the feet later. They're a bit tricky, um, but we'll come onto that. We are going to draw these legs. So we're going to come down from our first front leg here and you can see our faint line. We're not going to meet that line. We're just going to come and we're kind of nice and close down to it. I'm going to stop when we get to roughly where the bottom is here. Okay, it doesn't have to be a nice straight line because again, pigs have no straight lines, no, no human or animal or anything does really. Okay, and then we're going to go jump to the back uh, of this leg. Okay, I'm just going to come up nice and skinny, sort of following that line. Okay, and then it's going to come out and meet us over here. Okay, we can fix a little bit of that later. They have chunky, very big chunky shoulders. Okay, now where that has met, however, okay, we're going to come and do this back leg here. Okay, and it's going to come down, follow our line down here and eventually just take a little turn right at the end. In fact, that's a bit too much there. Okay, it's only just gonna to go to vertical. Okay, just do about that. Um, and then back here, we're gonna jump just to the other side of our cross hair, cross hair there, and we're just gonna come down and around a little bit, okay? Perfect, the only last thing that we need to do um, is worry about crossing him over, but we'll do that in a moment. Okay, so we're gonna move over to our back legs now. Um, so we're gonna come see this mark here, um, see roughly where we came around our back circle, okay? And we're gonna come down, kind of got one of those kind of little elbowy things, like a kind of like a knee, but it's not, kind of backwards. Um, and we're gonna come back down, down here. Um, again, not too far because we're going to draw our hooves on, like I said, at the end. Um, and then we're going to come back in again. Um, so we had our kind of pointy line here in the middle. Um, but we've, oh, sorry, uh, that was our front one, wasn't it? From there. Um, we're going to come up. And when we get to that uh, sort of joint, we're going to do a bit of a line that's going to come up and it's going to meet our um, body where our sort of faded line comes across here. That's going to be filled in now, or well, we can fill that in now. Once we've met our body, we're just going to give that a little flick at the end. Again, it kind of gives the impression of where the leg goes. And it comes over the top here, um, and we can fill in um, this part of our line in a sort of more firm bit there. And we can start to see it's taking a bit more of a better shape. Um, then we've got our second leg, so that's coming from here. Um, um, but here, this is our sort of our middle part of our leg, and we're going to come down from our front leg, from our, from our the leg that's nearest us. We're going to come down. We're going to get pretty close to our line because our hoof's going to be slightly different shape here. And we're going to come away again, up and meet our body there. Okay, um, then the last defined line that we need other than hooves, um, really for our pig is um, uh, this sort of belly line. So we're gonna come from where we came up here, we're gonna leave a little gap and it's just gonna be a little bit that helps us sort of show sort of where his shape goes. And it's just gonna be a long wave and it comes down to about here, down to about halfway between his sort of front and his back legs. So we're gonna fill out his tail here. Now, see our, where our circle is here? Again, if you imagine, or if you wanna even draw in a little cross, that's gonna help us with our shape. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the bottom and we're just gonna fill out this bit and meet that from where our cross goes up to his body, okay? Then we're gonna follow all the way around the circle 
until again we meet it back here, okay? In the middle, uh, we're just going to draw kind of from here. Um, it's going to sort of come out from there, kind of going to be a sort of C shape. Uh, oh, no, sorry, more like an E, I guess, sort of like a slanty kind of E. If you looked at it like that way, it's kind of an E. Um, and then from there, we're just going to sort of draw, and it's going to be kind of, it's going to look a little bit like a paintbrush, I'm not going to lie. We're going to kind of come down. Um, and then from here, we're going to draw a couple of different lines there. And we're going to come back up till we meet them. Um, and we'll sort of follow these lines up a little bit. Just gives us the impression of his, because they have a little bit of fluff at the end of their tail. Cool, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so yeah, uh, we're just going to move into zoom mode um, and going to get rid of all of these little faint lines with my rubber um, and then we'll come back and do some feet. Okay, jazz calls. I'm not going to lie to you. Feet, they're going to be the hard part of this, but we can do it. I believe in you, you believe in me. We believe in fairies, but we can do these feet. Okay, we're gonna do it together. Okay, so here we go, feet. We're gonna start at the back, move our way forward. We're gonna do our back foot first, because it's the easiest one, and it gets a little bit harder, and it gets a bit harder again, and then we've got a slightly easier one at the end. Um, we're gonna start at the back, do our foot, draw a very faint line on the ground uh, to, to show us where the ground is with a ruler again, so that they all kind of come to the same spot. Um, and then we'll finish off our drawing by rubbing that out. So, um, yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our line here and we're going to kind of draw a W shape. And that first W shape, we're not going to finish it. Okay, that's how annoying it is going to be as a W shape. We're going to go almost all the way to the end of our W, but then we're going to stop. Okay. Then we're going to take that line, it's going to follow along the ground. Feel free to sort of bend this one a little bit in. And then as we calm down, that's where his hoof's going to go. Um, and we're just going to draw a tiny little kind of pointy arrow here, uh, sort of turn this into a bit of a triangle so that you can see kind of that's sort of, they have a little bit of nail there. Okay, first hoof done. Okay, then we're going to take our ruler. We're going to draw a straight line very faintly, just very, very faintly, just so that we can see it. No one else needs to see it. Okay, so that we can see where the floor is. Okay, so we need to make sure that all of these come down all the way to there. So we're going to take our second foot, okay? We're going to do another one of those sort of V shapes here, but it's not going to, it's going to be a little bit slanty. So we're going to come from here. We're going to take a V and it's going to go back up to here, okay? Then from just to the right of where that V stops, we're just going to drop down to the floor um, and then head straight across. Now I said it was hard, clearly it's not too tricky for you guys. Um, once this one gets near enough to the floor, sort of almost the same as that little toe cap bit. Do the same thing, a little triangle on the end. Beautiful, we've got another hoof. Guys, we're halfway there, we can do this. Um, next one, now this is gonna have another W shape, except this time we're gonna finish it. Except this time, it's gonna get bigger as we go. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna do one part of the W there. Then we're gonna do a second part of the W, but it's like I said, it's gonna be bigger. It's gonna have one of those weird back toes that sometimes animal have. Then from here, we're just gonna curve, curve our way around to the floor. Okay, you will notice I did straighten out this leg actually. It was a bit curvy and inwards. Um, and then that's gonna come all the way um, just out in front. Okay, and then it's gonna, cause it's gonna be like he's kind of treading there. Kind of like that. And then the last one is pretty similar to that first one again, except we're gonna have two sort of toe bits at the front, because I think we'd be able to see that. So we're gonna sort of do our V or almost W again, but we're gonna come back up. Okay, and then we're gonna come back down, all the way to the front. We're gonna put in one toe here. But then we're also just going to do a little extra toe there, just to give the impression that that's his front foot, because they have those split front feet there. 
Okay, um, and then I think we are pretty much done except for some shading. So really, really impressed guys. Um, we'll come back in a second if you want to attack shading. The other option is that you can do um, at this point is you can just color them in. So if you want a purple pig, feel free to draw yourself a purple pig. Um, stop the video now, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, color them in purple, great. Pink, fine, green, whatever, it's your pig. But if you want to do some shading with me, then we'll do that all together um, and we'll have a look at that in a little moment. Right then, we're back. I've got a cup of tea and we're ready to do some shading. Okay, so let's have a look at some shading. Now, what I've got just down here that you're gonna have a quick look at is some different types of shading that you can do. Now, the first one I did was just a normal, pressing quite hard, pencil facing downwards, and you see you kind of get quite a dark effect there. It's not gonna really give us a very realistic look for our pig. Um, second one here, I've got my pencil at a slight angle, and I'm going along quite quickly, okay? And again, it's kind of gappy. Um, it's okay, but it doesn't really show us, again, it's, it's not gonna look very realistic when we've got our pig at the end. The third, I've started sort of moving on to the side of the pencil, here and then the, this one here you can just see I've almost got my pencil entirely flat and I'm using a nice soft bit of it and I'm very gently going along. The last one here I've even done the same thing and then I've rubbed it with my finger and it really gives a nice shading effect that looks a bit more realistic than um, just sort of drawing lines all over everything. Um, so hopefully we're going to sort of do a blend of the this, probably stick with this today. Okay, so where to shade? That's the next question. Um, we've got to shade all the bits that are going to be darker, right? So um, where the sun isn't going to be. So the sun is going to, we're going to pretend that it's kind of coming from about here. Okay, so we're going to have this back ear sort of darker than the front ear, but there's going to be a bit in the middle of his ear where it is darker again. Um, and then underneath him, because the sun's going to kind of obviously come down as well, anything underneath or sort of in, uh, where another leg is kind of getting in the way, um, those are the bits we're going to do darkest. And we're going to use shading on his tail as well, um, hopefully to give it a bit more of a 3D look. Um, so I'm going to start by getting some shading underneath here uh, and we'll see how that goes. Um, so again, I'm using that pencil on a very, very, very light gradient, um, sort of very... Uh, gently going along underneath and I'm going to first follow this line down does not have to be accurate to that line okay because that's not necessarily where the shading is met it's just um, again it's just a base here um, to give us an idea of the bits that are going to be shaded later so we have got this nice dark bit here the bits that you kind of go over twice they're going to come darker and darker and darker um, but again, I'm using that nice angle and then as I work my way up, um, because I'm sort of going a bit further with each stroke, it's becoming more gentle um, and then less pencil is getting there. And you can see there's a really nice dark patch there where you'd have one um, and you can start to see that it's pretty light up at the top. Okay, pretty happy with that on his belly. Um, probably could do with maybe a little bit more down here, pressing a little bit harder if I need to, um, but he'd definitely be very very dark underneath here um, and maybe a bit darker underneath here. The other thing that you can kind of just do um, if you want to sort of not cheat but um, quite an easy way to do some shading is to just kind of go around the edge. Okay now again this is going to be his back leg it's going to be underneath his body a little bit and I'm going to actually just draw a little extra sort of line here just to sort of show a bit of extra effect. Um, I'm also going to draw an extra little line here. Not too much of one, but that's just going to show us where some of the shading is going to go later on kind of separating out his nice big bulky body. So I'm going to get some down here. I'm going to follow his leg all the way to the ground and then I'm going to start coming away again, going more and more gently so that you get a nice lighter effect. But again, as you kind of come round to the front of his leg, you, as you can imagine, that would now be underneath his body, so that bit's going to be darker. I'm going to follow this line out a little bit, um, and then kind of come around again here. This bit would probably be pretty light. 
Again, I'm gently going to go from dark to light and then to dark again by the time I get to his back leg. And again, this line, even though it's there, doesn't look too much in the way. You'd see some sort of scraggly lines on people and on, um, on a pig, I guess. And again, we're going to follow this bit down, a bit darker down his leg, I think. Um, perfect. Now, but however, this back leg, because this would be the side that's underneath the body, it's going to be a lot darker. So I'm going to press a bit harder all the way down his leg there. Um, I'm going to leave a little bit because I think this would be a bit brighter where it gets a little bit lighter by the time we get to the front. Perhaps what's wrong around. I'm going to come back up here. I'm really going to push, even though I'm, my pencil is still sideways, I'm going to start pushing a little bit harder there. Okay, pretty pleased with that. Again, back leg, going to be darker. Um, and we're going to go from a nice dark bit on his belly. So I'm going to make that a bit darker again. That'll blend in nicely. A bit darker there. Very dark by the time you get to the bit where it sort of joins with the other leg. away um, and I'm going to do a little bit of extra dark like I said as it sort of follows his leg around as it would be the bit that's kind of coming underneath and this front one again nice nice dark bit here um, but lighter towards the front so I'm going to sort of have a nice shady bit there and then I'm just going to blend that with a bit lighter as we move down his leg. See, easier than it looks to make a nice shaded pig, which is what you were expecting to be seeing today. I'm gonna to shade in a pig. Okay, trying to take nice strokes, you again using the side of that pencil so that you don't get too many sort of defined lines on the page, because that's where it starts to sort of look a little bit less like shading and a bit more like drawing. Again, I can blend a little bit with this darker patch there. Cool. Okay, he's gonna have a very dark bit underneath his chin. And underneath where his mouth goes as well, that's gonna be darker. Come around to the top is going to be lighter. Okay, um, last thing we're going to, last two main bits that we're going to do dark, we're going to sort of fill in a bit here, fill in round a bit here, kind of behind this bit, but you'll see that when we sort of colour in the rest of him, that gives him a nice 3D sort of shape. So let's have a look at his quick, have his back end. Okay, we're gonna have a big dark bit that kind of follows up here, and then we're gonna make his tail look 3D. Then we do his ears, and then we're basically done. So, big dark bit here. This is just sort of showing you where I'm gonna be doing them, um, because what I'm gonna do in a moment is go into fast mode, um, and you'll just see me sort of coloring in uh, as such the rest. Um, so we've got that nice dark bit there. Um, his tail, okay, we're gonna have a dark bit kind of around the back here, um, because that's the bit near the body. Um, then we're going to have a bit that's sort of darker, certainly there. And a bit as it kind of comes around underneath. And the last bit is his ears. So moving on to his ears, this bit in the middle, that's actually where his ear goes in. So it's going to be very dark and that's going to sort of get to light by the time we get to the end. There. And then we'll have a little dark bit just underneath behind his ear, because that would be shaded by his ear. And then we're going to have a slightly darker bit here, 
but as it gets away from his other bit there, the shadow wouldn't be cast onto his other ear. Um, and then a little bit of shadow from the two ears that would go onto his body. And we're gonna go along the edge of the ears, just here. And here with some darker bits. Okay, guys, I will see you at the end. I'm gonna finish shading him off um, and you'll see him in a little moment. Yeah, okay, I've just gone a little bit outside the line there. Not really a problem because all I'm doing is pressing so gently with the pencil that the rubber just fixes that nice and easy. Perfect, we have a pig. Guys, we did it. You did it, we did it, everybody did it. Great job. Guys, we did it, we drew a pig. I hope you're as happy uh, with yours um, as I am with mine. Um, otherwise, I'll see you on the next um, Drawing with Mr. Subi. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future little drawings that we get to do. Have a really good rest of your day. Mm -hmm.